Welcome and thank you for your interest in AmpGuard. AmpGuard is a live action role play game. Live action because it involves you as a person, not some paper or some character you create or something. It involves you. You are the person, you are the character. You come out and you have a good time. It's a place where you as a person can be who you want to be, not how society sees you or not how others find who you are, but who you know who you are. It can, the Antipod itself can be broken into three different sections, if you will. The first is the martial aspect, the second is the creative aspect, and the third is the social aspect. The martial aspect, as in you can see behind me, is we all get out here and we fight each other with form created replicas of swords. The big part of these is we make them be able to safe. If it's not safe, we don't allow it on the field. Safety is a big plus for us and one of the largest portions of AmpGuard that I find to be highly desirable. I don't want to be able to come out here and get hurt, but then on Monday when I go to work, I have a large bruise or a cut or a broken bone. So safety is a very big issue for us. The second part is the creative aspect of AmpGuard. As with the first being the coming out with a sword, the creative aspect of AmpGuard, we teach you how to make these swords. It's very simple. We also teach you how to make guard, like this, which also goes into teaching you how to make armor. The creative aspect is pretty simple. Making weapons or armor or garb with that fantasy medieval aspect, but there's more than just that. You can also, if you like to say, I don't know, if you're good at woodworking or you're good at metalworking, you're good at working with leather, those are also aspects that you yourself can use to make things. Whether it's armor for the game, a wooden throne or chair, a wooden chest. As far as leather goes, you make leather armor, leather belts, leather pouches. The sky's the limit to what you wish or try to do and try to make. That's the creative part of as aspect of Antgar. There's also making food. Uh, we have vintners categories. So if you want to, if you're good at, or like to brew beer or brew wine, case in point, 21 and up is the law. We do follow that law. So this, those laws supersede Antgar laws. So just you're aware. Um, there's also the social aspect, which is probably the most important aspect of Ampar. The social aspect as in going to a place or a group of people that don't judge you for who you are. They will accept and embrace you for who you are. We want you to be who you want to be. And Ampar as a whole is very social accepting. Coming out here and enjoying yourself and being who you want to be and being with people who, are, who have the same desire, the same wishes. That's what AmpGuard's about. So the bonds and friendships you will form in AmpGuard extend far beyond the game, where you'll be talking to them on a daily basis, or you'll be sending emails back and forth, inviting them into your home for dinner, or going to theirs for their dinner, meeting up for movies. That's a large portion of the social aspect. Having you out here, making your own swords, making your own garb, and joining with us, joining with us to find out who you want to be to enjoy yourself. That's what Amcard is. It's quote, okay, using a quote, living the dream. Not my dream, not their dream, your dream. So if you have a desire to come out and be the knight who saves the damsel, or if you're more of a Tolkien type person who likes the elves, dwarves, goblins, that's also a large part. You can come out here, you can be an elf, you can have a good time, you can wear the ears, you can make things that look elvish. No one judges and everybody encourages. So as far as Amgard goes, if you want to come out and find out who you want to be, and immerse yourself in a group of people who also want to do what they want to do, but all of us come together in a large, almost family-like structure, Amgard's for you. So without further ado, I'd like to see you on the field. You can get in touch with us via phone, email, text message, or by the internet. Our internet website is www.azampart.com. We're also on the Facebook and the Meetup. Both those can be found on the website. So please, contact us. We'd love to hear from you. We'd love to see you out here. Until then, see you later.